Here we are, boys. We are starting up the next gen situation on Madden. Welcome to Madden NFL. Oh my lord, we're doing this. There we go. The music's gone. The in-game commentary will drop that down to nothing as well. And let's continue the game. Oh, here it is. Next gen's here. Gotta admit though, the frame rate's looking a little a little laggy here. I'm not liking that. That's like 20 frames per second, maybe. If that, it's uh, okay. Strange. Oh, next generation stats. Oh, next generation lag. <laughs> Russia times over 15 miles per hour. Okay, I mean, like, cool, but like, sure. <laughs> He's sweating in the snow. That's got to be cold. Arms are juiced in the snow and cold. That's got to be bad. Next gen stats. It's in the game. Look at us checking that heartbeat because, of course, the uh, the sweat in the snow is obviously going to kill him. And here we are coming out on the field. Same exact camera animation. And hopefully there's no lag on the actual game because, like we said, it's it was very laggy in that intro screen thing. A uh, bit of snow. Okay, it looks. I mean, everything looks interesting. Right down the middle and Andrews. Okay, well, uh, that was difficult, obviously. What's the next-gen stats? What does it show? Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. I want to see the next. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at this. I like this. This is cool. Andrews down the middle. Okay, this gives me, like, uh, ESPN modern, or ESPN football kind of vibes, 2K football. What is it? Ball carrier speed, 20.1 for the tight end. That's some speed. 30, 41.9 yards after the catch. Rack monster. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Whew, Jesus, scared me. Let's see if kicking is any different. Uh, it seems pretty It seems pretty normal. Nothing different there. Pretty simple stuff. Try to pay attention to all the little things. Of course, in that little cutscene, it was like a little laggy. Uh, we're back to actual live com now. I didn't know what was going to happen. I kind of just wanted to load up the game, see what happens, and yeah. Uh, as far as NFL games in the snow, I can't really remember what... The end zone seems different, right? You can see the snow is kind of like peeling off. I kind of wonder if like, let's run a play and then revisit the end zone there and see if that is actually tracked, if literally where he was is still uh, uncovered. I will say, once again, uh, it feels really strange. It feels really strange. I don't know how much we'll be playing on Next Gen. I mean, our solo franchise or our offline franchise has most likely moved right to it right away. But our uh, our other league, you know, Rams will not be, of course. But everything feels just as sluggish as launch. All right, so we got a couple of plays in. Okay, we'll have to wait. I was about to say, we got a couple of plays in. Let's take a look, but we will not get a chance. Calais. And it's overthrown by Mahomes in the snow. Can I ever look at replay? Are they like, nah, you can't look at replay because the truth will come out. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Proche, the wide receiver that we uh, may or may not have gotten rid of. It is so strange running. It feels like you're, uh, you're running like... I don't even know, like you're running in the mud, like you're taking extra steps to get the same result. Quick throw to the outside, Dobbins. Okay, interesting. The juke move seems more like not in 20 so far. And we get a block, Lamar's on the edge. Everyone seems really weird when they run and there's nobody in sight. Easy score, next gen stats brought to you by the guys that do the next gen stats are they going to show it uh 27 or 76 yard rush different distance 22.2 carrier speed that's pretty cool so uh lamar was blazing and he had to go 76 yards to score a i don't know what touchdown but i mean you guys watch the play so oh dobbins got stopped dead why do we go for two what the hell 
the hell am I doing? First game next gen, not even against a human, and I'm going to lose, and it's probably on, like, freaking rookie. It seems really slow. And it does appear that the, uh, like, the snow in the end zone stays. I don't know if that was always a thing. Now, take it, I don't have a 4K monitor on this, uh, this machine, so I can't really tell. The graphics look slightly improved, but I always had a pretty good Xbox hit as he's thrown. I've always had <laughs> to away of that, but I've always had a pretty good Xbox, so it's not going to really seem that much different to me anyways, I feel. Uh, but, I mean, everything looks pretty good. It's just, you know, the actual gameplay feels really sluggish, as it did the start of Madden, and forcing him out. Of course, a huge play there. Hit stick on the play. Holmes barely gets it away, and they continue the drive a little bit. Obviously, right now it's a third and two. We could send them off the field. Come on, Calais. Calais! Oh, and Le'Veon Bell falls forward for the first down. That will take it to the two-minute warning. I can't remember anything about, like, dynamic weather or not. Like, are we going to see it where there's going to be less snow uh, sometimes during the game, more snow? Because uh, as of right now, you can tell that there's a ton of snow coming down, yet... It's not affecting the field, which, I mean, once again, that's kind of what, kind of some of the next-gen things I'd like to see. And Mahomes is down for the count. Yannick Ngakwe and Matthew Judon on the play. Taking him down for a loss of four, not a huge loss. And there goes Calais. There's Mahomes on the run. A crazy one and dropped by Queen. Ooh, the fans look, that looks new, right? Okay, I mean, I like that. I actually like that a lot, but... We'll see how, you know, repetitive that could get in the future. I'm going to use her McPhee. And look at Calais doing what Calais does. We'll call a timeout to try to win this thing. Once again, like I said, with the the snow, uh, I don't know if that side of the field had any snow on it, like taken off with people running, but doesn't look like it. And more importantly, like I said, there's so much snow coming down, yet the field is not filling up. So just the small things, but that's kind of the whole point of next gen, isn't it? And like I said, with the juking, it is very... I mean, everything's so sluggish on offense. Just like every single Madden, a couple of weeks in, everything, you know, is different. And it's not its not getting used to the game. It's literally them, like, patching the game and changing it. There goes Andrews. I mean, everyone looks really slow. It's not even just our players. It's not even just the big players. Even the fast players, they, they just... They don't have the agility or something. I don't even know. Here we go with the handoff to Dobbins. Kind of a little jab step inside. They're the ones calling timeout now. Dobbins up the middle again. Try to get them off guard. And it's going to cause them to call another timeout. Drag down. <laughs> get it. See if we can actually run with Lamar. Ooh, I would like to see what happened here. Whoa, well, hello? Lamar, are you okay? There we go. Dobbins going to score here. Dobbins is going to score here. Touchdown, J.K. Dobbin, Dobbins? Dobbins and the Baltimore Ravens. Can I not, like, sim? How did that work? I mean, I mean, it, once again, it is kind of... I don't know if it's a work in progress, but I've seen something about, like, it's it's early for next gen, and uh, it's not supposed to actually come out for a day. It's kind of sprung up on me, by the way. I completely forgot about this. It's not supposed to come out for a day. Uh, some of the features are probably going to be missing, so I, I really don't know, but obviously I wanted to get this video up, take a look at what's going on. Had no real plans on this one. Again, I had no clue. I'm only up because I kind of procrastinate and, uh, and edit for a rebuild today. But of course, you will get that later on as well. It won't be next-gen, but I don't think next-gen non-gameplay-wise is really going to change much, so not really missing much there anyways. Holmes going to take uh, a questionable route. Getting in position for that on defense was a nightmare. All right, so here we go with celebrations. That was the championship game. That's what they project, I guess, uh, is this to be the matchup. And, of course, we win with the comeback. What the hell is that? Is that snow or is he? It's like paper mache. What the hell is that? But hey, Baltimore's on top. We see some of the same celebrations as before. They do have a different feel to them, though. I don't know if it's frame rate related or if they actually changed a little bit of it. I don't know. 
They're not going to show stats. I'm going to exit the game and see what's up. That might be really that's that for all we know, that could literally be all they show. Uh, or not. Uh, let's take a look at Ultimate Team. I have not played Ultimate Team in a while, so I have no clue if there's actually something here that's going to be different. I, I don't see anything, so I'm just going to click Dismiss. It always happens. Like I'll start with like 50 trophies, and by the time like a couple months comes in, it's like, oh, your trophies suck. What is all this? What is this? I got some Mutt rewards, in fairness. I'll, I'll open all this crap. I don't care, dude. If I pull something sick, let me know, boys. Reserve and oh, we've got an elite card. Matthew Stafford, my favorite player in the league. <laughs> oh, that seems decent. Jared Wilson. Okay, I mean, sweet, dude. 85 overall pull. Most of you're welcome. What's a gick? What the hell? No one cares. Oh, great. Got an autumn ba a blast pack, and we also have a pro tier most feared pack. Wow, that's. That's something. So many of you guys probably already clicked off. I got a Joe Burrow, and I also got a power-up. Joey Bosa. An elite. Jamal Adams. I'd imagine all of that would be worth quite a bit if they were, you know, like, day one of those things, but obviously not. Uh, Autumn Blast Pack. Cortland Sutton Elite Card. We should still have, like, an Autumn thing in here. Here it is. Henry Anderson. <laughs> uh, I don't think there was anything else in there, was there? To my knowledge, Campus Heroes Tim Tebow. That's kind of cool. I'm going to buy more packs. <laughs> <laughs> There's not really anything to my knowledge that's new. Let me take a look, I suppose, and see if we have a uh, like any new solos or something for for like next gen only or something. Maybe there's some insider details. Uh, challenges. I mean, you guys that play Ultimate Team would know if there's any of you. And that's pretty much that. I'll probably look at that card later, see if it's worth anything. But I'll probably forget. Uh, my champion seasons. I mean, it doesn't look like anything new is here at all. Once again, to my knowledge, I don't actually know because I don't play. Uh, let's leave that. See if there's anything else. As far as the yard goes, going into the yard, I can't tell if it's fast or not. I will say the screen doesn't look as clear as it used to be. You know, it's kind of just giving me like the, the rundown of everything, which, you know, I'm not super happy with that, but cool, dude. Exhibition has all the same stuff. I'm kind of curious to see if all the uh, community files will be here. One file. So, do the people that have the community file or their files, do they have to post them? I'm gonna share a file. Do I have any files? Use the My File screen to upload and share created. Start sharing your files. I don't see any of the stuff. So, as far as right now, I have no idea what's actually available. Let's take a look at the franchise and see if... We can import stuff like they said we could or not. So you can see here we do have uh, imported rosters. So let's do the Bulldogs, I suppose. Let's import this league. Oh, that was quick. It was that easy? Now the question is, we imported it. Does that mean it's going to still exist in the other realm? Uh, as far as looking at this right now, the menus seem a little more delayed. I will say, though, the pitcher for... Um, the coach right there, it looks so much clearer. I don't know if you guys can see it because, of course, you know, 1080p for uh, recordings. It looks clearer, though. I will definitely admit that. It looks clearer. Let's take a look if uh, any of the players look any better. Uh, I can't really tell too much. I don't see any new kind of options or anything like that. Uh, let's see if there's anything new for, like, actually going into the franchises. I, I really don't think there's going to be much here, just going to be honest. Roster importing doesn't seem to be faster, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, you know, this seems like to be like an internal thing. So like, I'm not sure why I have to really connect it to the servers if I already own the roster. Uh, let's just choose the Lions, go into it. I mean, pretty straightforward, nothing special at all. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything that like would be new? I mean, as of right now, all I can really tell is that they have the next gen stats and that uh, things should be faster and the gameplay is really weird. There's really not much yet. So I don't know if that's going to be a thing that, you know, they have to work on. I'm going to actually load up the old Madden and see what happened to our our uh, game. I want to see if also you could play old Madden. Hopefully you can. It's going to be a bit of an L if we can. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do if we can't. So it appears that we're able to keep both. I do not think it's going to progress on both. But I'm curious to see. Let's go back to the other one. <laughs> So stupid. You're going to be getting insider scoop of our Bulldogs franchise. You know, hey, 
there's, there's reasons to watch this crappy video. But my personal opinion, my my expertise guess would be that once we advance this, nothing will happen to the other one. Uh, well, there's a bit of a spoiler there. It looks like Holton Hill has himself a breakout scenario, which is kind of cool. Let's now go on to the, la uh, the, the old gen and see if that actually updated that. That would be very surprising. But yeah, as you can see here, just based on you know the first glance, it looks like it's not going to uh, update the game, which I 100% expected. Yeah, so basically, uh, you're just you got just got a new save file, so can't work on anything from the old one, uh, or if you can't work from the new one to go back to the old one. If you're if you're playing next gen, you're playing next gen. Simply put, uh, but that's I mean that's pretty much it. There's not much more that I have seen so far. Once again, gameplay changes. Uh, feels really sluggish, feels different, just like it did when Madden 21 first released. Uh, and then, you know, the uh, the next-gen stats. And like I said, that's pretty much it. You know, improved gameplay, you know, like the, the speed and the graphics are a little bit better. And then uh, that's, I mean, that's really it, honestly. But, that, I mean, that's going to be it, I suppose. We have a Texans Fantasy Rebuild later today. Of course, real next-gen drops tomorrow, technically, so... Maybe there'll be some newer things once that actually happens. I don't know. But yeah, next gen Madden is here. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Care Plays. And twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care. We'll have another stream tonight. I streamed for almost six hours last night. You know, maybe come along. It was some fun zombies. Of course, the rebuild was fun. And that's pretty much that. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video. See ya!